Good morning everybody. I Dr. Prachi Mittal from Department of Conservative Dentistry is going to uh, present uh, or teach you about operative dentistry. Basically we will start with the concepts of what is operative dentistry. So it is basically the art and science of diagnosis, treatment and prognosis of defects of teeth that do not require full coverage restoration for corrections. So the treatment should result in proper function, the form and aesthetics while maintaining the physiological integrity of the teeth which is in harmonious relationship with the adjacent hard and soft tissues all of which should enhance the general health and welfare of the patients so basically it is also known as a restorative dentistry because we restore the teeth by using filling materials or conservative dentistry because we try to conserve the tooth as much as possible so the various indication in caries related tooth where there is a decay in the teeth and then in malformed teeth that are uh, already fractured discolored teeth due to which are discolored due to fluorosis or any other intrinsic stains or external stains then fractured teeth and restoration replacements or repair uh, for example aesthetic correction in which there is diastema or spacing so we do it by veneers in uh, like this is a veneer which is a thin layer of the material that we apply on the tooth the various considerations to keep in mind is infection control that uh, a strict asepsis should be performed a thorough examination of oral and systemic health of the patient should be done a diagnosis of dental problem that recognizes interaction of the affected areas with other body tissues the treatment plan that has potential to return to the affected area to a state of health and function enhancing the overall health and well-being of the patient an understanding of the material uh, should be used to restore the affected area and including realizations of material limitations and techniques which are involved in using it secondly an understanding of oral environment is also must to which the restoration uh, will be placed and then appreciation for and knowledge of correct dental anatomy of the tooth and third uh, fourthly the operative procedures should be uh, according to other dental procedures or treatments that we have to keep so first of all this is the understanding for your the teeth basically the anatomy that is it is a contact area and the fillings that we are doing like amalgam if we are filling then we have to place it into the contact area into the tooth then for preventive composite in which there is a small pits or where minimal intervention is required we use it uh, composite resins and also we can remineralize these contact areas and the future now future depends upon the remineralization or prevention of extensions so basically uh, by using fluoridated toothpaste or sealants we can easily prevent the caries so more conservative approaches that are available are for typical restorative procedures like class 1 class 2 class 3 class 4 and class 5 diastema closure procedures aesthetic or functional corrections of malformed discolored or fractured teeth and actual replacement of the teeth the primary result of conservative treatment are retention of more intact tooth structure and less trauma to pulp tissue and contiguous soft tissues so conservative approach first earlier concept was extension for prevention that is increased knowledge of preventive methods advanced clinical techniques and improved restorative materials have provided a more conservative approach to restoration of the teeth then the development of high speed hand piece also played a dramatic role in more conservative and effective removal of tooth structure for restorative procedures so this is the hand piece and this is the working of the uh, for development increased research on biomaterials they have also led to introduction of vast improved dental materials all of the above mentioned factors have played important role in development of operative dentistry so now comes the economic factors with more discretionary income and more healthcare benefits for the adult segment of the society the demand for future dental services have also increased and should be increased as well so the various projected needs for operative dentistry they include increased need of operative dentistry in future like restoration for the teeth with the new caries lesion the restoration for the teeth with the root caries which can result in loss of tooth structure the restorations to replace existing or faulty restoration and restorations to enhance the aesthetic appearance of the patients 
Public perceptions of dentistry. The public perception of dentistry is another factor that will influence whether the increased number of teeth or increased need for operative services will be converted to increased demand. Patient visits. The number of dental visits has increased in part several years because most of the patients are now uh, more keen to perform or undergo their dental treatments and they are also more keen to save their teeth. Recent survey shows that new older patients and future older adults not only will possess the positive perception about dentistry and dental health but also will have economic means to secure the dental care as they need there are various dental insurances that are also covered which cover uh, that are also there which can cover your expenses of the dental treatment and in future uh, results in um, research in operative dentistry is now occurring in many fields like use of lasers which may lead to new mechanism for building dental alloys or altering tooth structure in tooth preparation. Improvements in composites, adhesive systems, castable ceramics and computer generated restorations could result in significant decrease in use of metal alloy systems and efforts are also being made to uh, develop anti-caries vaccine. So the procedures which are commonly done under operative dentistry are the direct restorations, indirect and veneers. Direct restorations are those restorations that are applied directly to the teeth like amalgam, composites and GICs. Indirect restorations that they are uh, applied on the teeth but they are fabricated outside the teeth that is in the, into the labs like inlays, onlays, crowns and veneers can be direct or indirect. Direct restoration after the tooth preparation the restoration is placed in a moldable state in the prepared tooth to create a normal contour. Advantages are it is easy to place, it is less time consuming and it is cost effective. But disadvantages compromise mechanical properties like compressive strength, uh, like composites if we are doing directly, if they are not polished well then they can result in staining. Like this uh, is a photograph of a fractured teeth and we can directly build this tooth with the help of composite or direct restoration and give it a more aesthetic way. Similarly, the, the caries index, uh, the faulty restorations, they can be replaced with the tooth colored fillings. Diet restorations like amalgams can be also done, which are silver fillings. In diet restorations, after the tooth preparation, it involves making of an impression, pouring of a cast, dye preparation, wax pattern and investing, casting and finishing and polishing or cementing of the restoration that is restoration is fabricated outside and cemented into the prepared tooth. It provides better mechanical properties and stress distribution but disadvantages is time consuming, it is expensive, it is technique sensitive and the patient has to come again for the appointment. Like these, so this is basically in the indirect restorations like indirect gold restorations, indirect gold crowns, indirect cement uh, ceramic restorations that is tooth colored. In uh, cases with have spacing or diastemas we can go for indirect veneers. So cavity preparation, what is basic idea of cavity preparation? It is a mechanical alteration of a defective, injured or diseased tooth to receive restorative material that reestablish a healthy state for the tooth including aesthetic corrections where indicated and normal form and function. The purpose of cavity preparation is to remove the carious or disease portion of the tooth so as to avoid further progression or recurrence of it. Caries might have progressed into an irregular shape so one must prepare the tooth appropriate to the shape so as to obtain best of mechanical properties of the restorative material like so that they cannot be easily dislodged. Now how is cavity preparation done? It is basically done with the help of using uh, diamond burrs or TC burrs which are attached to handheld device called as handpiece at a high speed that is approximately 2 lakh rpm for gross cutting with finishing burrs that are attached to a slow speed handpiece that is around 30 to 40 thousand rpm or hand cutting instruments for finer adjustments. <coughs> Another branch that deals uh, in uh, that we deal in operative dentistry is preclinical work. That is before the clinics. That what we do in operative dentistry. So it is basically just to give you an idea that what we do in uh, preclinic. 
so it is a branch of operative dentistry whereas a practical training is given in cavity preparation and restoration of the teeth with various materials in a dummy models in simulated oral environment so uh, to summarize the future of operative dentistry is good the emphasis of professions will shift to care for senior adult segment of population and also to non-surgical treatment of caries. Thank you.